Hello and welcome. It's Wednesday, the uh, second day of November 2016. My name is Derek. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly time frames. Yesterday's session, a gain of two and two thirds percent and currently up about one and three fifths of a percent as at uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, a move that has uh, gotten past so far this 1860 mark and at 1868 at this time and 25 Canadian. Is this area going to be resistance? Probably, but not necessarily so. I would expect as a more likely event that it's either going to pay, take a few days and maybe go sideways in this area or retrace down towards 1820, 1830. The overall key thing is for me to revert this into a bull market, I need resistance as resistance established, easy to say, which right now is here, but a pullback of some sort towards this 18 average band and I is an ideal next step and then a break above this key point, moving this into a bullish territory once again. Those are one of the things that I'll be looking for. But if this thing just keeps going higher and you start to notice it's at 1890, 19 and so on and so forth, I would still figure that it's got enough legs to get up towards this point. That if it happens to be well over 19, roughly somewhere even around here, then I'll just deem this to be a bull market at this stage because there has been many times before where they've had large up moves without much correction at all. And there's going to be many more that will follow. So will this be one of them? Eh, maybe, but I do know that if this area is failing in resistance and momentum continues to go further, that it's probably going to keep on doing such at least to, as I state, around 1960. On the weekly chart. What we have in here is the situation where it's been obviously bullish for the first part of this year, making a couple higher highs, several higher lows. And in this situation here, it's deepest correction yet. To revert this into a bear market, step one, flatten the band. Okay. Step two, establish support. Step three, come back to this band. So those steps are all completed. Step four is break support. Therefore, if that occurs and you see price continually falling and unable to hold 17, then this would automatically put me into a status of stating this to be a bear market. Contrary, the Flip side, this thing keeps going, gets up to 19, eventually maybe even into December, breaking back above 20 US. Then this is going to be showing an interesting shape of what has occurred the last month and change to be that of a failed breakdown. And I'll be say, saying on this channel that, you know what? Based on this move in here, that's a failed breakdown, break of this resistance. I'm looking at a good two, three dollar quick gain. And overall, I'm really looking for a four or so dollar quick gain on the eventual break of 21. But this would be showing a, a pattern if, of course, it does do such in breaking 21, that uh, good momentum should follow afterwards. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Take care.